Hey everybody, can you believe we are on the last Fruit of the Spirit? We are almost done our summer online camp. But today we are learning about self-control. My name is Pastor Rachel and I'm so glad that you're tuning in with us. We have been having such a great time. Check out some of these shots of the crafts and the baking that you guys have been doing. They've been fantastic. Well, speaking about baking, we've got a baking competition happening right now. Let's jump on over and see what they are up to today. Nailed it! Well, good morning, y'all. My name's Bo. Welcome back to Baking with Bo. And I have two very special bakers with me today. I have Karen and I have Aaliyah, and they are going to be baking in this episode of our Nailed It Summer Camp. Now today, they are going to be baking a pie. They're going to be making a special pie made with the lemon. These are going to be some lemon meringue pies, and I hope they are ready, because I know one of them is going to nail it. On your mark, get set, bake! So let it let the egg white fall through those fingers. Great separating. That's another way to do it. And then you put the egg white in here for your meringue. Oh, look at that. And then you do the same thing with the next one. Two eggs in. Two egg whites. Because we're gonna make those meringue first and then the filling second. It's a two-step process. Today we are cooking with lemons, but we have chosen to use a lemon pie package. But you can make it with a lemon if you want to go extra hard. But this is a little bit easier for everybody at home. And this is the part where you just keep on whipping. And whipping. And whipping. Do this and then it says start continuously. Ooh la la, looks like lemon meringue. Not quite, but I hope. <laughs> All right. 
Are we in the last debate? a hard part. Okay, you stir in that butter in and then you're gonna let it just relax and get all nice and cold. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And we have your baked pasha and you've got your ready to use meringue. And then you are gonna put it all together. So we're gonna let this cool and we're gonna figure out what our story of the day is and we will be right back. Nailed it! Hello friends, it is Bella Banana here and today is day nine of Nailed It Count and it is sadly the last day that Bella Banana is here with you but I'm not too sad because I am filled with joy even though it is very, very sad that it is the last day of Nailed It Camp. Well, today, for the last day, we are learning about self-control. And self-control is when we think before we act, because we can't take it back. So God wants us to have self-control because sometimes our actions can be hurtful. So it's important to think before we act. So today, I have a lovely tube of toothpaste. And we're gonna squeeze all that out. <laughs> now, we're gonna try and put all this Back in the tube. Oh, well, Bella Banana is having a bit of difficulty trying to get all this back in the tube. Um, so as you see, you can't put it back in. And that's very similar to our actions. Once we do or say something, we can't take it back. So that's why it is very important to have self-control and to think before we act, because sometimes we can hurt people and we can't take it back. Bella Banana had an amazing time with you guys over the past two weeks, teaching you guys all about the fruit of the spirit. Now, Bella Banana needs to go wash her hands because they are very, very dirty right now. Um, but let's go get back, let's go check on our bakers and see if they are using any self-control while they're baking today. Bye guys, I will miss you. Lots of love from Bella Banana. I just have got toothpaste on my lips. Well, goodbye friends. Nailed it! Alright, well hey there and welcome back. We are ready to decorate our lemon meringue pack. I know you have never heard of this before and neither have I, but these bakers are going to nail it with a little extra lemon on the top. So we are gonna see what they're gonna do and we will cut a perfect piece for our judges. You don't oh, do well, it. here, we'll scoop out the rest just to get all of that off the side. This part we own. And then 
do not look like this. Smooth it on out. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is really hard. Oh no. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> I like that meringue. Oh my goodness. <laughs> not really I do not know how to spread that for you. Uh, yeah, perhaps two. Or a knife? I do not know. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, yes. This looks good. I like this. I like this style. It's like a snowball style. I don't even know how to do it. All right, now walk me through what you're thinking right now. <laughs> um, the lemon's like kind of spilling over when I keep pushing this. So, yeah, it's not going great. And how about you, Aaliyah? How is it going for you? No, I don't know what I'm doing, honestly. This is looking like a lemon meringue pie. Mm mm mm. And these are just about ready to go in the oven. Now they only take about seven, eight, nine, let me read it, minutes. Once they go in, it says five to seven minutes in a hot oven. No, I'm kidding. 425 until golden. Cool on your counter three hours. We're gonna have to cut this film and do something in the middle. You have to cool it for three hours before you eat it. Oh my goodness. Well, I will call our judge and tell him to just go get a coffee because we won't have to wait before we try these pies. All right, when you ladies are ready, you can pop them in the oven and watch your time for five to seven minutes. So you have to have a bit of self-control and not eat so many so that you stay healthier. I guess I can do that. Oh, right. Yeah. I'll put these back. I'll only take two. Okay, okay. that's some very good self-control of you to only eat two cookies. Good job, Gwaip. I'm going to eat one too. Mmm, these are delicious. Yeah. Nailed it! All right, now we are ready to judge these lemon meringue pies. I cannot wait. Now, we have a very special guest with us today. This is... Claude. Je suis Claude. As we well know. Because it is the ninth day and we are just so glad that you have decided to join us again. Okay, so let's get down to judging. Uh, well, it is a pleasure for me to be here on the last day one more time. Um, uh, tomorrow's the last. Well, it's the last day of judging. Okay. Um, very, very good. Uh, we come to the climax, the lemon meringue. Very excited to try. Let us begin with the, with the uh, decoration, no? This one, the meringue, uh, it uh, got a little thin. It was a little thin. Um, a little messy, but uh, hopefully delicious. It is smiling at you, Claude. It's got a little face out of lemons. 
Or maybe it's more of a surprised face. We will see if it's as surprising as it, uh, as it looks. <laughs> let, us, uh, let us try it out. I need to come here to get meringue. The, the problem when you don't have enough meringue is that you end up with all the lemon and no meringue. Oh, man, but that is okay with me. Mm, it's a mm. little tangy. Mm. Surprise face! Is this, yes, very tangy. Claude does not have a lot to say about this today. As the, I would have liked more meringue, but uh, as it is, it's very, very good job. I just wanted to point out the way in which our baker cut this slice of pie. What type of triangle is that? Uh, it is uh, isosceles. No, no. Uh, no so angle is the side. same. This is true. Yes, uh, not a technique that I have ever seen, but uh, artistic decision. Points maybe, for artistic. Mm -hmm. Yes, maybe it goes along with the face, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I did not know with whose face that went along the with face the face of the pie. The face of the pie. All right, now it is time to judge the second piece of pie. What do you think of this, Claude? This one, I, I prefer, to be honest, the, uh, the decoration of this baker. Also, the meringue is much more equally distributed. You can see it is split a little bit, but the browning, it, it is a pie in three parts, no? The meringue, the lemon filling, and the crust. And that you can tell, this one not so much. The, I like this, the uh, sunflower lemon outside. I, I too. Sort of flowers. Yeah, I like, I like that. Let's, let's try this pot. You go first. Mm. That is a very nice lemon meringue pie. Oh, but the tang again, it gets me every time. <laughs> it makes my cheeks smile. We got tang, 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 tang. All right now, Claude, what do you think you do with the lemon at the top of this pie? Uh, you... I think you should. I think you should eat that. Straight up lemon. Do you like the flavor of that, Claude? Show everyone what your face does. It's delicious. I don't know if you like to do that at home too, but you could if you would like to. We are going to talk about these two pies and let you know who nailed it today. <laughs> nailed it! Hey guys, well it's Pastor Rachel, it's time for a story we're talking about self-control. Our point of the day is I will think before I act. Do you think before you act? Well, I hope so, but there's a saying, and it's when life gives you lemons, make lemonade. That's kind of funny, right? But it means that whatever life throws at you, whether it's a good thing or a bad thing or a hard thing or a sour thing, you can make something sweet out of it and not every bad situation has to end up with a bad outcome. You can make a good outcome happen even from a bad thing. So that requires something called self-control. You've got to control how you act. You've got to think about how you act before you do anything. I have a story I want to share with you and it's from Matthew chapter 4. In Matthew chapter 4, Jesus, the Son of God, goes out into the wilderness to pray and to take time to talk to God all alone with no distractions. He even fasts, which means he gave up food so that he could focus even more on just praying and talking to God. While he was fasting, he must have gotten really hungry. I mean, 40 days and 40 nights? What happens when you don't eat? Well, I know when I don't eat, I get hangry. It's kind of like being hungry and angry and angry that you're hungry. You're just hungry and angry all around. And you know what, in those moments, I could really use some self-control. But Jesus shows all of the self-control. It's incredible. In Matthew 4, while he is fasting, the devil comes up to him and he knows that Jesus is hungry. So he says, why don't you turn these rocks into loaves of bread if you're really the son of God? And this is what Jesus says to him. He says, no, I'm not going to give in to that temptation because man does not live on bread alone, but by the words that come out of God's mouth. He's saying that he needs to be fed by God in his heart and in his spirit, not just physically like bread in his body, and so then the devil tries to tempt him again and he takes him up to the highest spot 
on the temple. And he says, you know what? If you're really the son of God, jump off of this temple and the angels will save you so you won't die. And so Jesus said, no. It also says in the Bible, do not test the Lord your God. So don't just do something to test that God is real. And then Satan's like, I'm gonna trick this guy. I'm gonna throw something at him that he's really gonna mess up and he's gonna make a bad decision and he won't think before he acts. But Jesus shows self-control because Satan comes a third time and tries to, tries to tempt Jesus. He takes Jesus up to the peak of the highest mountain and shows them all the world and the kingdoms. And he says, if you bow down to me, Satan, then I will give you all the kingdoms of this world. And this is what Jesus says. He says, get out of here, Satan, for the scriptures say that you must worship and bow down to only the Lord your God and serve only him. So then the devil went away. And the angels came and cared for Jesus because he showed self-control. Do you know what? I hope that I can be like Jesus when I am faced with a temptation. You know, maybe you'll be tempted to do things this year at school, like tease somebody, or not be nice to that new kid, or maybe to be rude to your parents when you get home from school and you're a little bit hangry. Well, in this passage we learn that self-control is so important and we need to follow Jesus' example. And just like Jesus had the power to say no to Satan three times, he'll help give us the power to say no to temptation, to say no to doing the wrong thing. God wants us to do the right thing and it takes his help to do the right thing. If you don't know the right choice to make, you can pray to God and you can say, God, will you help me make the right choice in this decision. Or maybe you're feeling tempted. You can pray to God then too. When you're at school and you feel tempted to laugh at something that might make someone else feel bad, you can say, God, help me not to laugh in this moment and help me to be nice to that person. And God will give you the strength to do that. He will help you stand up against temptation. God will help you have self-control. Well, this has been a great time of learning all about self-control and how we can think before we act. Let's go check in with our bakers and see what's going on. Nailed it! All right, well, we are here and we are ready to announce the Nailed It winner of the day. We have our lemon pie by Karis and our lemon pie by Aaliyah. But you know, I need to pull out my glasses to really get a good look of how you've cut this. Now, if you notice, this is the face, and the cup just comes right up here at the top. Oh, and he's drooling on my hand. Well, I'm gonna give that back to you now. That is, well, I think you need to, oh, are you ready to hold it? She's not ready to hold it. We are gonna get, give us a moment. Give us a moment, Kevin. Are you gonna hold this or drop this? Okay, here we go. All right, well, we are ready to announce. Two hands on that, two hands on that. All right, we are ready to announce. Now, if we were just judging on taste, you've both nailed it. But today we're adding in the element of appearance and Karis nailed it on the appearance. Look at that lovely sunshine, daisy, sunflower. We're not sure, but it's beautiful. You've nailed it. And we can't wait for you to come back and join us again for our finale tomorrow. Catch you later. Wow, those pies look amazing. I think I kind of want to try one. Well, today, here's your challenge, a pucker up challenge. All right, we want to see you eating a lemon or challenging someone else to eat a lemon. Show us the faces that you make when you eat a lemon or when you get someone else to eat a lemon. So funny. Okay, well, we have one day left. Join us tomorrow for our last online summer camp. We are ready for an awesome last day. We'll see you tomorrow, guys. Bye.